Python. Definitely learn Python first. Of course, if you do bioinformatics long enough, you might eventually need to learn R anyway because of all the packages like DEseq for differential expression, Surat for single cell, and of course ggplot for plotting. So obviously R is useful. I'm not saying don't learn it, but I don't think you should necessarily learn R as your first programming language because it's so specialized for statistics. As a result, it looks very different from other languages. And in my experience, R ends up being harder to learn and teaches you things that don't apply to the next programming language you pick up. For one thing, R kind of looks weird, even for something as simple as assigning values to a variable. In most languages like Python, you just do this, but R uses arrows because its predecessor S did the same. Uh, by the way, the, the arrow can go both ways. Um, R does support the equal sign, so you can just use that, but almost every code snippet out there uses the arrow. The other confusing thing about R is dots and variable names. In Python, you use underscores to separate words like this. But in R, while you can use underscores, you often see dots in variable names which is really confusing because in other languages, the dot means you're accessing a property of an object or a function that acts on that object. There's also the fact that in R and a few others like MATLAB, awk, and Julia, array indices start at one instead of zero, which honestly doesn't really matter, but most other languages are zero indexed, so it can be confusing. Also, when you define a mathematical model, like in DEseq, like y equals mx plus b, you can do things like this, where condition looks like it's a variable, but it's not. It's actually the name of a column in a data frame. And in most languages, this would just fail because you, you can't just use a name like that without a variable or at least without quotes. Finally, the fact that you can set the output of a function call is so weird to me. So for example, if you want to rename the column names in a data frame, in Python, you use df.rename. But in R, you call the function call names, and then you assign an array of names to it? How does that even work? Doesn't calling call names return something? Are we are assigning an array to the something that gets returned? It doesn't really make sense to me, but in R you can actually do that with replacement functions. And here's how you can do this yourself. You define a function twice, once as you normally would, and another time with an arrow at the end of its name. Um, the fact that this is possible is both amazing and horrifying at the same time. So which language should you learn first? I would say start with Python. It's the most general purpose language. It's easy to learn. It's popular in biotech. And nowadays there are a lot of bioinformatics packages in Python. This was a different story maybe 10 years ago, but nowadays Python is a great choice. But of course, if all your colleagues are using R, great learn R first. You'll be able to get more support and guidance from your team. Ultimately, the most important thing is that you start with a language that makes you feel productive and that doesn't make you want to give up on programming entirely. Whether that's Python, R, or hey, start with C or Rust if you're feeling adventurous. Actually, maybe not a good idea to learn C or Rust as your first language. But anyway, let me know in the comments which language you learned when you first started or which one you're planning to learn first.